everybody, this is Greg the Wine Traveler. Have you ever dreamt of a wine tour of Italy, France, or Spain? Those tours can be expensive. If you're serious about making your own itinerary of your wine travel in Europe, some planning is going to be necessary. It'll be more enjoyable and fun if you follow my eight suggestions. Suggestion number one, limit your group size to four. It makes it more convenient and flexible when you're touring Europe if you have a small number of people. With only four people, it's more intimate and more manageable. Number two is make appointments. Most European wineries have a requirement, so please make appointments. It's expected, but also keep in mind, in some high demand areas like Burgundy or Bordeaux, Sometimes the appointment is two weeks or two months out. Number three is winery tours. Do you want a winery tour or not? If you want a winery tour, plan an extra hour to two hours. It varies. Some winery tours are really great. Other ones are pretty short. But if you don't want a winery tour, it's a lot easier to make an appointment for a tasting. Number four is timing. It always takes time to get from one place to the next and Google Maps has a nice tool that you can use to estimate your travel time but please be aware when it's in the afternoon here it's in the middle of the night in Europe so the travel times will be less because it's not during rush hour. So add extra time to your travel plans or use Google Maps at a more appropriate time. Number five is meals. You got to plan for meals. They tend to take longer than you think. And if you're on the Autostrada, the Autostrada is like the interstate system. Uh, in um, Italy and Spain, there's the Auto Grill. Those places are great for a quick meal, and it's good too. If you want a more formal meal, That'll take more time and more planning. And I tend to save those type of meals for the evening when I'm not having to rush off. Number six is you're late. First suggestion is to always add extra 10 or 15 minutes into your travel plans. But sometimes the best plans don't go right. So if you are late, despite all your plans, it's really polite to call the place you're going to and let them know that you're late. Number seven is purchase wine. I suggest that you buy at least one to two bottles per adult. It is polite, it shows your appreciation, and it's the custom. Number eight is driving in Europe. It's not a problem, but you should know what you're getting into. I made a video on it and it gives you a lot of information and hopefully it'll make your plans go smoother. Folks, this list doesn't tell you everything you need to know, so if you have questions, please put them in the comments. I really appreciate that. I always appreciate comments and suggestions. If you're still uncomfortable about making your own travel itinerary for your wine adventure in Europe, then please go ahead, reach out to me, I can help you. Perhaps one day of your itinerary doesn't work out as planned. That's okay. You might have a different adventure than you planned, and it might be better. In any case, I wish you good luck, and please remember this. La vida es bella. Life is beautiful. Ciao.